Hi guys, welcome back to the Hershey Magic online course. This is lesson three. Uh, I'm going to show you guys something with uh, a couple of napkins today. So pause the video real quick, run and grab two napkins, and then we'll continue. All right, you guys back? Good. Okay. I'm going to teach you guys a trick that you can actually show your friends and uh, make them think that they're learning a trick too. Uh, it's, it's a good one. Check this out. Uh, take one of your napkins, okay, and you're going to ball it up really really tiny and tight, okay? Get that nice and small, and then put it into the finger palm that you learned in lesson two, okay? Now that happens before the trick even starts. You have that hidden. Now take the other napkin, hold it in your hands, and you're gonna tear that in half, okay? And then tear it in half again. If you listen, it actually sounds like it is ripping and just tear it into a bunch of little pieces, okay? Now you're gonna ball those pieces up as well, nice and small. And in the act of balling that up really, really, really tiny, you're gonna switch in that piece that you have in the finger palm, like this, just like that. But do it with it facing you so they don't see it. So you switch the pieces, so now you've got the broken pieces hidden in your finger. Put that in your hand, now go to your pocket and pull out your magic wand. In this case, I'll use a marker if I've got one in here. I do, okay? Make sure you don't show those pieces that are hidden in your hand, though. And you take the magic marker as your wand, and you just give a tap to the napkin. One, two, three. And you can unfold the napkin and show that it's completely and totally restored. Now, if you practice this long enough and you get really good at the magic, you can actually take the magic marker, tap it against the pieces in your hand, and take the pieces and restore those back as well. That's the sucker torn and restored napkin, and we're going to learn that in just a second here. All right, so here's the explanation for the sucker torn and restored napkin. This is a good trick because it fools the people that you're doing the trick for twice. So this is nice. Uh, you let them think you're teaching them a trick when in reality you're just performing a really cool piece of magic for them. Uh, you don't need two napkins, you need three. Okay, so go grab three napkins. And with the first napkin, you ball it up really tiny. Again. Only this one starts in your pocket. It starts in your pocket along with the magic marker or the magic wand. So we put those both into the pocket, like that. Now you start the trick. You have the two napkins, and your friend grabs two napkins, and you tell them. You say you take the first napkin and you ball it up really small. So you take that one again, ball it up really, really tiny, and put it into the finger palm. Okay? You don't have to tell them that it's called finger palming. That's between you and me, but you can just tell them to hide it in their hand. Then you take the second napkin, just like in the trick, and you tell them to tear it up, and you tear it as well into a couple of different pieces, and then you tear it up really, really small, like this. And then you ball the pieces up really, really small again. And this time, when you ball the pieces up really, really small, you can tell them you're going to switch in that finger-palmed piece. And you do. You switch the two around as you're balling everything up. So now you've got the restored napkin here and the broken pieces here. Put the real napkin into your hand. As you do that, reach into your pocket with the broken pieces. And when you reach into your pocket to grab the marker, leave the broken pieces in the pocket and come out with the marker and the napkin that we put in the pocket to start. So you're going to leave the broken pieces and take out the full napkin. When they come back out and you show the marker and you tell them, now be careful not to show those pieces, what you're doing is you're pretty much letting them know that you didn't switch something or leave the pieces in your pocket when you got the marker. They're going to think these are still the torn pieces. So you take the marker, and you go tap, 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 restore this napkin, unfold it to show that it's done, and that's where they think the trick is over. And then you say, if you really uh, uh, practice and you're a really good magician, take the marker again, open your hand to show the pieces, tap them, and then when you unfold this napkin, it looks like an absolute miracle. So that's the explanation for the torn and restored napkin. All right, guys, we're going to learn another trick here with a coin. 
uh, since that seems to be some, most of the focus today. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to take a coin and push it through a solid table. Okay? The way to do this, all you need is a half dollar or a quarter, any coin will really work, down on the table. You need to grab a salt shaker and another napkin which you can unfold or a piece of paper towel. Okay? So here's how this is done. Take the paper towel, lay it over the salt shaker. This provides cover so you don't see the coin because if I didn't, I just had this, you could see something and we don't want to expose anything. So you lay the paper towel over the coin, uh, over the salt shaker, over the coin, and just watch. You should count one, count two, three. That actually went differently in my head. All right, well, the coin's still there, but the salt shaker seems to have gone. Uh, all right, let's try something else here. Let's try something with the coin. There we go. There we go. I got it. And there's the coin. I don't know where the salt shaker went, but I guess that's neither here nor there because the trick was to get the coin through the table. And that's what we're going to learn next. All right, so here is the explanation for the uh, salt shaker through table, which in the performance video we called the coin through table because we didn't want to give any of it away. Um, but of course the trick is to get the salt shaker to go through the table. Uh, everything that we explain uh, in the trick to make the coin go through the table is, is true. You need a coin, you need a salt shaker, um, and a paper towel. So what's happening here is when we put the salt shaker over the coin, and the paper towel over the salt shaker, and we count to three, every time I count, I come back with my hand with the salt shaker just a little bit further so that on the third one, I'm off the table. So we count one, two, and then when I come back here, I'm gonna bring this up, but down here this is done, I'm just gonna drop the salt shaker out of the paper towel and the paper towel retains the shape because you're just holding onto the paper towel very very lightly so when you drop the salt shaker out it retains the shape of the salt shaker in the paper towel so when you count to three the third one you mash the salt shaker through the table and it looks like this count one two drop the salt shaker oops sorry got a little hung up there one two Drop the salt shaker here. Three. And you slam your hand down on the paper towel. That flattens the paper towel out, and it looks like the salt shaker went through the table. You let the salt shaker fall into your lap. Again, like the coin we did earlier with the lapping. One, two, three. And it looks like the salt shaker have now penetrated through the table. And you act like something has gone wrong. I usually peek under the paper towel to see if the coin's still there. And then of course, of course the coin is still there, so I lift that up, I put the paper towel down, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up the coin by lapping that into the lap again. So I scoop that off, lap that into the lap like I'm holding the coin, and, I, oop, I dropped the coin, I'll grab another one here. Let the coin fall into the lap, show it like this, push it through, and then as this hand comes to reach under the table to find the coin, I'm going to grab it off of my lap as I'm going underneath the table with this hand. So I come here, I grab the coin, and I feel it, and I just pretend to pluck it from underneath the table. And I explain that I have no idea what happened to the salt shaker, but since the effect in the trick I wanted to show you was the coin going through the table, I'd say that was a success. And that's the salt shaker slash coin through table. All right, guys, this next effect that I'm going to show you uses four coins and four cards. So we take the four cards here. We'll take the four coins here like this. We'll take each one of these cards, and we're going to cover the coins. Now, keep your eyes on these two coins, because in a second you're going to see something just a little crazy happen as one coin jumps from one side to the other. Here, we'll do it again. Watch this coin. It happens kind of quick. You don't want to miss it. Just a little tap and the coin jumps from one to the other. This one happens faster than all the other ones just like that. It jumps immediately from one spot to the other, leaving us with four coins here. That's a coin matrix.
and we're going to learn that next. All right, so here's the explanation for the coin matrix. Now, this one is a really cool trick to do because this looks like magic, and it's actually very easy to do. Um, you need four, ca uh, four cards and four coins. Um, for the explanation, I'm going to use these four cards, and you'll see why in a second. And you're going to put the four coins in a rectangular or square shape on the table. It's better to use a, a soft surface than on a glass table. It's very hard to do this on a table where the coins are going to make noise. So I would recommend putting down a, a mat or something like that. And then you're going to take the two cards in each hand, so four total. And you can see I've got, for explanation, I've got the two purple cards on top. I've got these two gray cards here on the bottom. And what's going to happen is this coin here at the front, the one that's furthest away from you on the left, is going to get stolen in the act of covering the coins with the cards. And the way that happens is we're going to take the two top cards and push them forward to lie them down onto the coins. But what's happening under this one is the thumb that's underneath the gray card is going to pick up that coin as the purple card lies down on top of it so that you've stolen the coin. I'll show that to you again. The coin starts here. Push the top card forward. You're going to leave the top card on the table as you pick up the coin with the card underneath. And one last time, just a little bit more exposed. Push the top card forward. Pick up that coin. Leave the top card, and you've stolen the bottom card. Now, it's got to look exactly the same. Your hands have to, what's called, mirror each other on this side and this side. Only on this side, all that's happening is you're laying down the purple card on top, or the top card on top, and laying this card down here. And it has to look exactly the same. So you push these two cards forward, steal the coin in this hand, leave the two cards. Now I've got this coin here, no coin here. And as I go to put this card over this coin, I'm going to slide this coin with my thumb over to the left, just a little bit, so that when I put them down, you don't hear this. I'm going to slide it over to the left and put the two coins down next to each other. So now it looks like you've got a coin under each one, when in reality you have two here, none here, one here, and one here. So this is where the trick begins. You've got the four coins, uh, four cards covering the four coins. And I lift this hand up and this hand up to show the two coins. I just pick up this coin with this hand again, showing the two coins. Now to do the first trick where they jump invisibly, this coin's going to jump from here to here. When I lay the coins, the cards back down on the coins, I'm going to pick this coin up with this card and drop this coin with this card at the same time. And at the same time, it looks like the coin jumped from one spot to the other. Do it one more time here. Lay the cards over. Steal this coin. Leave this coin like this. So when it's done at speed, you've got the coin set up. You say, watch this coin. It's going to jump from here to here. It jumps that quickly. Now I take the card that doesn't have a coin, because of course now I'm hiding a coin here, and I lay that down on the table, face up, face down. And I switch hands, keeping the coin underneath the card the whole time. From here, of course, you wouldn't see that. And I show this coin. And I do the exact same thing. I come This time I come below these two coins, cover this one, and I'm going to steal this coin and drop this coin, just like that. So again, it looks like now we've gone from here to here. This is even more impossible because it's gone from here all the way across the table, like that. Same action. Drop this card down, switch your hands again, retaining the coin that was initially here. Now this last one, since there's no coin under this card, this happens a little bit uh, quicker because we don't show the coin jumping. We just simply come over here, drop this coin, and pick up both cards at the same time. I'm going to do that one more time. Okay. We've got from here, we've gotten to this point where we've just brought this coin over. We drop this card down, keeping this coin in the hand. We come over this way, cover the coins, and as we cover the coins, we're going to pick up both cards and leave this coin on the table. Just like that. Then we show these cards. One, two, 
four cards, and the four coins have all jumped to one corner. So let's just go through it one more time. I'm going to go through it quickly, but I'm going to explain it as it happens. We've got the four cards, two in each hand. Top cards get pushed forward. Steal the coin in the left hand as you lay the top cards down. Drop the card uh, with the coin on top of here so you can show your hands empty. Pick up both cards in the left hand, pick up one coin to show the coins. Steal this coin, drop this one that's in this hand under cover. There's the first jump. Drop down the card, switch, show the second coin. Same action, like that. Drop the card, switch hands, and then finally lift up both cards, dropping the last coin with the other three. That's the coin matrix, and it really it looks like pure magic, like the coins are invisibly disappearing and reappearing, teleporting all over the table. That, that one gets attention. So practice that one. Don't practice till you get it right. Practice till you can't get it wrong. And we'll see you at the next lesson. I'm Jack Trades with Hershey Magic.